Hello and welcome to the Glad Possible YouTube channel. On the eve of International Women's Day, it becomes imperative that we have this discussion on this extremely trending topic and rightfully so, right to abort a child. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. This is not the first thought that comes in a woman's mind that I, I want to abort my child. Every woman understands that this is the biggest, biggest privilege that a female has, that she is capable of giving birth to a child. But you have to understand, sometimes the circumstances are such that it becomes better for the woman and her life to abort a child. Now, you would say, what kind of circumstances? Well, what if she got pregnant because she was a victim of a rape assault? What if when she got pregnant, she was married, but later on, she left her husband or her husband left her? There are disagreements. Maybe they got into a divorce. Maybe she has become a widow. Maybe she has been diagnosed with an ailment, some mental or physical ailment because of which, you know, let forget the child. She's, she won't be able to take care of herself also. What if she is financially incompetent? What if that woman wants to study more and she cannot take up that responsibility of, you know, having a child just yet? Maybe sometime, sometime in the future, but maybe not right now. Should we take away that right from that woman? You know, what will happen if you do that? They will still get that abortion done. But now they will get it done in illegally. Illegally in the sense this will not be done in proper clinics, in proper hospitals. And you know what will happen because of that? That woman might die. So to protect, to safeguard that woman and to safeguard her choice, it becomes very, very important for every government to allow that woman to go to a proper clinic, to go to a proper hospital and exercise the right to abort her child in case she feels the need it is also important as a society that we support such a decision. It is not a very shameful act and so that particular woman shouldn't have to hide it from the rest of the world. It's her body, it's her choice. And yes, you guessed it right, we are going to start up this discussion with France, which has become the first country in the world to make it a constitutionally mandated right that a woman will be able to abort if under cer certain circumstances. But not only are we going to talk about France, we are also going to talk about the abortion laws in the oldest democracy of the world, which is the United States of America. And of course, our discussion wouldn't be complete until or unless we talk about the similar rights in our own country. So time waste na karte hue, Ek cheez aapke upar, I'm trying to harp upon this fact that you will competitive examinations in competitive examinations, you will sit for CLAT and ELIT. And you know that the Chief Republic Day celebration mein chief guest was Emmanuel Macron. So anything and everything to do with France to becomes anyway very, very important. Now that I've said that, let's start off with the discussion of this historic decision. What was the decision? that it is for the first time that it has been written in the constitution of a country that, yes, you know, a woman has the right to abort her child. So, was it not legal here before? It was before. It was in the act. Now, it is in the Samvidhan. So, what is the difference between both of them? I mean, who will give more importance, which is the highest rule book of any country? That is the constitution. And so, hence, ma'am, but then the law is also written, so what does the constitution mean in the constitution? कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में जब कोई चीज लिखी जाती है तो उसकी अहमियत बढ़ जाती है बताऊं कैसे क्योंकि उसमें बदलाव लेकर आने के लिए ना बहुत बड़ी मेजॉरिटी लगती है फॉर अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट अ सिंपल मेजॉरिटी वोंट डू अंटिल अनलेस दीज आर अदर प्रोविजंस इन सर्टेन प्रोविजंस बिग मेजॉरिटीज आर रिक्वायर्ड and that means there will be a huge discussion. That means it will not be like a halwa cheese ke bhai aaj kar diya ek article add, kal usko delete kar diya. Itna bhi zada easy nahi rahega. Matlab wo safeguard kar raha hai ek mahila ka right. And more than anything else, a woman feels secure in such a country. That listen, my constitution gives me this right. You know, that is what France has done for the women in France. 
एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू डोंट हैव टू लर्न कि कितनों ने फेवर में वोट किया कितनों ने अगेंस्ट वोट किया बट बहुत ज्यादा भरमार में यू नो पीपल वर इन फेवर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डिसीजन एंड राइटफुली सो Now we talk about the freedom here, guys. I'd like to talk about something. देखो freedom तो हम लिखते हैं हम अपने संविधान में भी freedom लिखते हैं but actually वो liberty है In fact ये जो नारा है liberty, equality, fraternity ये हमने कहाँ से लिया French Revolution से ही लिया या Now what is the difference between freedom and liberty? Freedom is कुछ भी करने का हक जो मन में आए Freedom with certain reasonable restrictions is called liberty, and that is what has been given to the women in France, right? So, Article thirty four of their constitution, please keep this in mind, ensures women's freedom to choose abortion under specified legal conditions. That means there are certain reasonable restrictions. Protecting and you know giving bodily autonomy. You know sometimes people uh, feel and you know you you also might be thinking about it. Because you know it is her body. Like, what's the point of making such a law? Are it it is important so that clinics, hospitals, doctors, nurses know that this is the protocol that is to be followed. Because in the yester years, the kind of procedures that were applied to abort a child would end up killing the woman. right so such kind of medical precautions also need to be taken and like i said even before as a society you need to be sensitized towards this it is not something to be ashamed of it is it is it is a matter of choice it's a matter of right yes so legal right to hai 1974 se lekin ab constitutional right ban gaya hai hai na bada darja mil gaya usko fine अब ये तो हो गया फ्रांस के बारे में अमेजिंग स्टेप टेकन बाय इमानुअल मैक्रोन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द ओल्डेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी इन द वर्ल्ड व्हिच इज द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका मैम वहां पे तो क्या हमें राइट्स मिलते हैं पर राइट टू अबॉर्शन नहीं मिलता है यस सो व्हाट इज हैपेंड इज इन द ईयर 2022 देयर वाज दिस अम केस दैट वाज देयर कॉल्ड डॉब्स वर्सेस जैक्सन वुमेंस हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन that overturned a yester year decision which was roe versus wade in simple language roe versus wade was a landmark decision given by the us supreme court that women do have the right to abort their child which was overturned in this historic and very very infamous judgment called dobbs versus jackson dobbs versus jackson says that you know abortion rights in the united states of america do not exist should not exist yes and it of course sparked a nation by debate now you'll be like oh my god like ye to sabse oldest democracy hai isne aisa kyun kiya isko kya aisi padi thi you have to understand that ours is a pluralistic political system pluralistic political system means bahut sari bahut sari political parties if we talk about the united states of america they have primarily two political thoughts one is orthodox and one is liberal whenever the orthodox po political viewpoint wala president becomes the, the president of the united states of america to wo hamesha aise hi baat bolenge kyunki wo orthodox hai jo inko lagta hai nahi 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 you know you if you kill the child in the womb um you are you are committing murder they do not want to uh, think about what the woman is going through mentally physically in every way that's not even a bone of contention for them for them it's the child and the child should be born because that is their belief point to jab bhi unka president ek orthodox point of view wale uh, party ko represent karta hai to aise type ki cheeze aati hain jaise ki donald trump <laughs> right so it was in under his pre uh, when he was the president so these uh, judges that had uh, given the judgment in dobbs versus jackson they were all appointed under him only and so hence people even started talking about the fact ki dekho yaar kaun si wali party ke lead को तुम अगर प्रेसिडेंट बनाते हो तो उसकी वजह से देश का यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका के कितने सारे रूल्स यू नो चेंज हो जाते हैं एंड सो ऑफ कोर्स देर वॉज अ पब्लिक आउट क्राई देर बिकॉज सम पीपल टॉक अबाउट प्रो लाइफ एडवोकेट्स हैं कब कोई लोग प्रो चॉइस एडवोकेट्स हैं इनफैक्ट यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका में ये जो प्रो लाइफ वाले लोग हैं जो कहते हैं नहीं नहीं बच्चा पैदा होना चाहिए यू के नॉट अबाउट द चाइल्ड ही इज गॉड्स ब्लेसिंग ब्ला 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 
in fact they stand in front of these abortion clinics and they they sort of hound the person ke how dare you even you know step inside over there so there that is one set of crowd and the other set of crowd basically says that you know it's the woman's choice because it's her womb she is the one who is going to nurture that child you are not going to do it on her behalf yes and so hence it should be her choice what she wants to do with it so ऐसे टाइप के दो व्यू पॉइंट्स हैं वहां पे एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू नो सोसाइटल एंड पॉलिटिकल रेपकाशन क्या हुए कि बहुत सारे लोगों ने बहुत सारा प्रोटेस्ट किया यू नो यू कैन सी इट ऑन द स्क्रीन जुडिशियल लैंडस्केप की बात करें तो वी ऑलरेडी स्पोकन अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट यू नो इट दिस वॉज अंडर फॉर्मर प्रेजिडेंट प्रेजिडेंट डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प जो कि शायद दोबारा से यू नो आई डोंट नो बन जाएंगे एंड ग्लोबल डिस्कोर्स ऐसे था कि डिफरेंट कंट्रीज में इसके बारे में बात हुई इंडिया में भी इसके बारे में बात हुई अच्छा इंडिया की अगर हम बात करें तो वी आर रिलेटिवली मोर लिबरलाइज दैन अदर कंट्रीज वी डू अलाउ अबॉर्शन बट अप टू अ सर्टन पीरियड इन द प्रेगनेंसी बिकॉज वी हैव सीन इट वेरी वेरी साइंटिफिकली एंड वीव सीन वी यू नो बेसिकली मेड दीज बाइफिकेशन कि अप टू यू नो ट्वेंटी वीक्स ऑफ द प्रेगनेंसी अगर हम बोले तो यू कैन गेट योर अबॉर्शन डन इफ द प्रेगनेंसी गोज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फोर वीक्स देन ओनली अंडर सर्टन कंडीशन विल द यू नो अबॉर्शन बी कंसिडर टू बी लीगल और अलाउड वॉट आर दोज कंडीशन लाइक आई सेट इन द वेरी बिगिनिंग यू नो इफ अ पर्सन इज अ rape victim by the way marital rape is not a part of it which is what is another concern and people are talking about it ab hoga nahi hoga kab hoga i don't know hona to chahiye right then physically unfit mentally unfit right um then under certain disastrous circumstances if a female has become pregnant um then stuff such as you know ongoing pregnancy mein agar koi problem ho jati hai so you know her marital status sort of changes so such kind of conditions ab ye humne scientifically kiya hai kyunki hum fetus ki development bhi dekh rahe hain aur uska impact mother ke upar kya hoga wo wali cheez bhi dekh rahe hain theek hai so we have progressive reforms this is called the medical termination of pregnancy to the amendment was done in 2021 the act is there since forever right so yeah so that is what you need to know from here so finally if we talk about since the early 1990s around 60 countries have liberalized their abortion laws liberalized ab liberal to hame pata chal gaya hai na freedom with certain reasonable restrictions right so india ka article 21 and article 14 is the reason why we we have the medical termination of pregnancy act uh, article 21 protection of life and personal liberty except according to the procedure established by law jiske andar ye kaha hai protection of life life is not merely breathing my friends life is a set of choices that i get to make but within the ambit of law i can exercise those choices amongst them being right to abort under certain i mean of course criteria like 20 weeks of pregnancy 20 to 24 mein seven categories hai article 14 right to equality ya fir equality before law equal protection of law matlab ki किसको ये अलाउ किया जाएगा किसके पास ऐसा हक होगा उसका कोई लॉजिक होना चाहिए तभी तो लिबर्टी वर्ड यूज किया और फ्रीडम वर्ड नहीं यूज किया सो दैट इज व्हाट इज इंडिया एंड वेल यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट देयर आर लॉट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज एंड चैलेंजेस दैट आर फेस्ड बाय वेमेन ऑल अक्रॉस द ग्लोब हु आर जस्ट आस्किंग फॉर द राइट टू मेक अ चॉइस फॉर दम which is going to impact them i know it will also impact the family and the society but what if it to think about it what if you force a lady to give birth to a child who doesn't want that child right and it impacts that child too that will also be wrong so well that is all from our end thank you very much